What is going on guys, this Waffle here and welcome back to some more Stardew Valley. Let's see what our uh, Iridium of the day is going to be. Oh yeah, we get eight of them. Yeah, we did this at the end of last episode. We got eight there and then we have two here so we can get two more ingots. So definitely want to get those going here in just a bit because they do take forever as well. As last episode, we actually found some old lady on a beach over on Ginger Island. She gave us this like photo of, I don't remember if this is her husband or if it's just some random guy or something like that. I don't know. But you guys did tell me something I could do with that. So definitely later this episode, we're going to go do that thing. I don't want to spoil it too much. Jeez. Even though I kind of got spoiled in that sense. But you guys had some pretty good ideas on what to do with that because I had no idea what to do with it. As well as, yeah, last episode, use some of those stone floors to block that like pickle thing over on the beach in Ginger Island. And it was like whack-a-mole. Oh, what in the world? What the? Pfft? Why do I keep picking up this like crystal thing? I need to hold on. There's right there. Yeah, see, why does this keep moving, too? That's so strange. Uh, but anyways, put this back, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, speaking of decorating, we did do some decorating. I guess I could mention that, too, but kind of want to water my cacti. There you go. Cool. Uh, and then we got bait over there. But yeah, you can see we have two aquariums over here now. We need to get another rug that either, you know, can go down the middle of this or put another one on this side, kind of bounce it out a little bit, too. Uh, but you can see we have like a spook fish. In, oh, wait, no, spook fish is over there. We have midnight carp there. We have a squid, a regular squid, like a tuna. We need to put like coral and sea urchins and uh, stuff over there, too, to kind of balance it out, too. Don't want to forget about that as well. Some bait right there. Let's see what Penny's up to right now, though. Uh, is she going into town? I bet she is. Yep, she's going into town again. Golly. And hug, kiss, boom. And she just basically kissed a dinosaur. I don't know why it took me this long to figure out that she's literally kissing a dinosaur. <laughs> right now, yeah, let me just get... Oh, what in the world? The chickens are glitched. <laughs> you see that they're like flashing back and forth between a regular chicken and a void chicken. That's going crazy. But yeah, let me take care of the, uh, the animals and uh, the farming and all the kind of stuff real quick. And then I do believe, yeah, it's Vincent's birthday today. So let's see. Is it going to tell me... Oh, no, I have to look it up myself, don't I? Hold on. How do I do that? There you go. Vincent, do we, what do we know that he likes? Grapes and pink cake. Yeah, didn't we give him grapes last year? I don't know if we have any pink cake, but we may have some grapes. As well as we do have a mission for uh, whatever her name was. Evelyn, this one right here, yeah. Uh, to get 10 leaks or 12 leaks for George. So let's definitely try and do that. Start forging around. I did kind of do that a little bit at the end of last episode. Didn't find like any leaks over in the, uh, the forest below our farm down here. So that kind of sucks a little bit. But maybe I have some up in storage and we can make some uh, spring forage forging thing because I don't think you could just use the ones like you have to get yeah gather 12 leaks can't just use any I already have uh, in storage for that I'm like I guess I could but I still have to gather them too so it's not like that would finish the mission right then and there but yeah let me continue doing some of the busy work over here and I need to go put that iridium up inside of the furnaces as well and I'll see you guys here in just a bit Oh yeah, you guys, last episode we also found a, uh, or we caught a lava eel finally over in level 100 of the mines, and we put it over here in this extra lake. I do believe someone said I have, like, something in the in, in the furniture catalog I could do to, like, kind of dye the water red. I suppose we could look at that and it'd actually match this and it'd look like lava and whatnot as well. As, yeah, at the end of last episode I was kind of like, you know what, we need to make more bee houses because these are almost done in 22 hours. I figured out, you know what, why don't we surround all this with bee houses, so I suppose we could go and do that real quick as well. I don't know if there's anything happening in here. Oh, yeah, a bunch of ancient fruit. Awesome. Okay, well, uh, let me continue doing some of the busy work over here, and I suppose we'll go make some... Uh... Oh, and by the way, I I pre-gathered up a grape for Vincent. It's iridium quality, so that's going to be amazing, because I don't believe he's maxed out. I guess we can find him real quick. Yeah, we have two wands. I don't know if we're going to go back to the island this episode. Maybe later this episode? Uh, which, by the way, isn't it raining later? This I, I need to go look at the weather channel, but uh, where in the world is... Vin there he is right there. Yeah, if I give him a really good grape with, like, the birthday multiplier or whatever on, I don't know, he might get maxed out, because we've seen it jump up, like, multiple hearts before if we gave someone a gift they really love on their birthday. Like, he, he might actually get maxed out, as well as Haley, you guys said. Like, her birthday is later this week. If we click on her for the 14th, yeah, it's going to be, like, two episodes from now. Uh, she also likes pink cake and sunflower. Didn't I give her a sunflower last year? I don't remember. I think we did, because th that's why it shows up there. That's why it says, oh, we, you know that she loves sunflowers. And she only has two hearts, so... Yeah, if we have any spare sunflowers, which I'm sure we do, because we grew a few of them last fall or summer or whatever that was, I'm, sh I'm sure we have some extras we can give to her for her birthday, you know? Even though she's being all, like, rude and mean and all that kind of stuff to us, and we're always being rude and mean back to her, for her birthday, we might as well make an exception, right? So, <laughs> anyways, let me continue doing some more busy work over here real quick, and we can make some bee houses, get Vincent uh, his birthday present before he, like, it's too late or whatever, and a bunch of other stuff that I can't think of right off the top of my head, and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. 
All right, guys, back. And by the way, I didn't mention just a minute ago, but I did make some pepper poppers with some of the cheese I got from the uh, from the cows earlier. Instead of putting them inside the casks to get like aged cheese and whatnot, I decided to make pepper poppers out of them just so we have a little bit of speed. And hey, gives me a little bit of farming as well, which isn't really going to matter because we have the Junimos. But still, at least it gives me a little bit of speed while wow, we still don't have the coffee done, which is going to be done in two days. Next episode, it looks like. So that's unfortunate. But I do want to uh, make like spring foraging like starters, whatever they're called over here. And I think I gathered two of each. Yeah, so we can do it right now. Cool. So we have the leeks, the dandelions, daffodils, all them, and it makes 10 per craft. So hopefully we actually get a bunch of leeks from those. If not, then I don't know, maybe we could just because we have until the end of the month to do it. If we don't get a bunch of leeks from them, maybe we just craft even more of them. I don't know, uh, but we have 20 right there. It's 12, 20. I, th I guess we have enough time to go plant those real quick. I think we have sprinklers set up down here, right? Let me go double check and I don't believe, hold on, how long is it? I don't know. I might, I might want to go get some of the, uh, some of the fertilizer to help out, you know, speed grow or whatever, just so it grows as fast as possible and we can get as much leaks and whatever else is possible, right? So where would that be? I think I have a lot of it, don't I? Like speed grow or whatever it's called. Deluxe speed grow. Unless I used it all. Whoops. I think I did. Cause I don't see it here. I have regular speed grow though. So maybe I, oh yeah, I did use it, didn't I? Yeah, I used it for the cauliflower. Yeah. Whoops. Well, we have quality fertilizer there. Yeah, let's just get the regular speed grow, I guess. Yeah, that, that'll be fine. Uh, we only have 20, so whoop, there you go. And then put some extras up like so. Cool. All right, well, let me go plant those down over here by like the, the underside of this, because that's like the only area where we haven't uh, planted anything down just yet. It's like down. Yeah, down here. So let's go do that, especially because we have some sprinklers set up, I believe. And I think this golden hose should be able to like this. Oh, whoops. Oh, I think it did that off just by a little bit. Yeah, man. Well, I'm going to have to water it, too, because it's a little bit too late right now, unfortunately. Man. All right, well, let me continue. Man. I'm messing up all over the place. I missed out on one. There we go. Missed out on one square. I got it this time, though. There we go. All right, well, let's go to... It's 2.30 right now. Where's Vincent at? Is he, is he, like, at home? Is he, like, in a doctor's appointment or whatever? I just want to figure out where he's at, so... Oh! I guess he's over there with Penny and uh, and Jazz. Okay, cool. So we could actually just go ride the minecart over there and we'd be good to go, right? So that's good. Uh, let's go pay her a visit and then two hours right there. I don't know if we have anything to give Penny, which, by the way, if we have enough time, maybe we'll go see a movie with her finally. Yeah. Oh, whoops. Almost just forgot. Yeah, we need to go literally go ride the minecart over here, which, by the way, I do want to get bombs because that was something I was wanting to do as well was go bomb the hecking quarry. That's what you guys commented last episode I should go do over there. So I think we all, the only bombs we have are in Skull Cavern area, I think, right? So I might need to buy more from the dwarf or whatever, but there's my loving wife, seeing her out in the open. She doesn't care, okay, whatever. Let's give Vincent a Iridium Grape. You remember my birthday. Thank you, this is great. All right, so now he's, yep, I knew it. He's maxed out, oh my gosh. Holy heck, that worked out really well there. Jazz really hates wild horse rash, she told me. Yeah, that's good to know. So is that going to update my game now? I don't know. But yeah, Lily's these 10 hearts now. Amazing. We're probably going to get a uh, heart event if we come across the right scenario for him, right? Aunt Marnie, which by the way, Jazz is at. Jazz is at nine. So hey, maybe we'll uh, get her. Well, I don't have anything. I'm pretty sure she wouldn't like like a grape or a clay or anything random like that, though. I don't know, maybe a pepper popper, but... Nah, I'm not, I'm not going to risk it for the biscuit, right? But anyways, what was I going to do while I was out and about? Oh, yeah. Uh, so we gave him that. Then, oh, wow. Sounds like a place I could, uh... Oh, over there on the other side of the bridge. We can go pan for gold or whatever this is over here. Go do that real quick. Yep. Let's see what we got. Anything good? There we go. Ooh, five copper ore. Not bad. Yeah. <laughs> Some of you guys said, yeah, you, you might as well just, like, not buy, like, coal and whatnot from Clint. I'm like, if we, if we need a bunch of coal, like, that's the only way that makes sense, if you ask me. I don't know if time passes if we go to a movie. I'd hate to... Oh, yeah, the war memento. Yeah, you guys said... Where is he? Kent? Is he at home? He... Okay, he's in his backyard. Okay, let's go over there. Wish I had my horse right now, though, but... Let's just go give him the war memento, and then maybe that's going to help us... He's going to give us something to give to the old woman on the beach, because she wanted, like, a memory of her husband or something like that. I think we can read this mission over here and give him more information. Yeah, look at this. We're finding uh, forging stuff just out and about, too. Cool. Uh, let's get rid of these. So we got fiber. There you go. And I guess we can go back to Leah's area and see if we have any more leaks and whatnot out there, too. But Kent, uh, oh, whoops, I didn't mean to just casually talk to you. Lost a lot of cheese. Lost a lot of friends in battle. Yeah, I know. Probably this guy I have a picture of, right? Although it's in black and white, so although I don't know what time this game is even supposed to be taking place. It could be taking place in the 50s. Who knows? Uh, what's sad is that I can't even remember their faces. Oh, you know what? I've got a picture here. Exclamation point. Where did you find this? Ex dot, dot, dot. <laughs> 
this man, we fought together in the war, Waffle. He was like a brother to me. Oh, well, what a coincidence. This is crazy. He's seven out of 10 hearts. Oh my gosh. But only one of us made it back. Ooh. He never lost his courage, though. Even in the face of death, a true hero. I'll never forget him. Thanks for bringing me this. It means a lot to me. Here, take this. It's been sitting in the back of our cupboard for years, and well, we've never used it. What is it? A gourmet tomato what? Salt? Tomato salt? Oh, I was reading the bottom left instead of like literally right there where I could read it just fine. So what, what is that? Is that a thing I need to give to a, to an old lady now or what? Gourmet to, oh, jeez. Everyone hates it. Gee, <laughs> a rare, delicious, and savory salt. Okay, well, uh, there's nothing I can do with it right now, so. Unless there's someone, is there someone who likes tomatoes I can give it to? I don't know, but it says literally everyone hates it. So I don't, I don't know, I'm confused. Oh yeah, I was going to go to the, to go bomb the quarry, which sounds so weird to just say. Ah, no, Evelyn. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, she's still 10 hearts right there, though, so that's good. I thought we were in a safe uh, distance away from her. I guess not. Hey, there's Penny and the kids. Anyways, I guess we'll go ride the minecart over to the dwarf, go buy a couple bombs, maybe like one or two mega bombs from him, go bomb the quarry. Because I, I think someone said there is one of those. Well, I didn't see it. I must have been like hiding behind a tree. There's like one of those like rocks or something like that that has like really rare gem or ore or something like that inside of it that we got like one time and that's how we got our first iridium right but let's go to the dwarf hey wanna buy something yeah i want to buy some bombs do you have some bombs yeah of course you do <laughs> a thousand each i don't know let's get like eh, five sure there you go. help out the local economy i've got three hundred and twenty thousand. well not anymore uh but if you round up i do <laughs> but still might as well help out the local economy right hopefully five is enough to actually explode the quarry i don't think the quarry is that big although Let's, let's let's just go test it out real quick, and then later I guess we could ride the minecart back to the town and then go to the movies with Penny if she still has her ticket. I don't know. It might have expired by now. I don't know. <laughs> it's been so long. Go back to the quarry, and where was it? Was it up here? I don't think so. I don't know. Uh, let me lay down one of the bombs, like say here. This might be a good spot to put it. I don't know how big of a radius this. Oh wow, that was actually pretty good. Well, yeah, it is able to explode trees and whatnot, but what was was it this? No. But the uh, but the the trees take multiple bombs to oh jeez I'm dead ah I took a little bit of damage there golly did I get anything good there I don't think so yeah I still need to cut down the trees but I do have a iridium axe right so I should be able to cut them down pretty easily there you go I should be able to get all those there you go nice don't think any of the trees are actually going to go down though but at least all the rocks are going to go down so that's good and uh, yeah I don't know where the uh, whatever that rock was that someone mentioned well one of the trees went down must have got hit by like three bombs there huh golly. Uh, well, multiple actually, hold on. And they should be weakened, so I should be able to cut them down as well. But I don't know if we actually got the, uh, the, the, the rock that supposedly has, like, some sort of ore. I don't know. I don't know where it is, if it is around here. Or did I break it last episode? I don't think so. How do these not break? That's what I'm curious about. But, I, oh, wait, no, I have just a, uh, yeah, I don't have an iridium anything, except for a, a galaxy sword, if you count that. But, yeah, I should definitely up the, upgrade those, because we have so much iridium and more smelting at the moment, if not already done. It's crazy, but, yeah, let's get all these down. I guess we'll go see if we, uh, if we can go watch me. I don't know, what, 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 does it say what time the, uh, the theater closes? Probably not. 9 p.m., really? What movie closes, what theater closes at 9 p.m.? That's, like, prime time. <sighs> Anyways. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, at least we got all the rocks over here, which is pretty good, right? Uh, supposedly. So, I guess we'll go back to the town, and then go buy another ticket, and... Should I, should I buy two tickets to give another one to Penny? Just in case she still doesn't have hers? Just in case she used it without me? I don't know. <laughs> Hold on, move a ticket. Uh, buy two of them, sure. Boom, boom! And then it's 8 p.m. right now. Can I make it back to Penny? Wait, which, by the way, she, she could be anywhere. Oh, wait, no, she's, she's heading home right now. So if I give her one, can I go back and then come back in time? To watch the movie with her. I don't know. Oh, geez. You can actually see Leo on the map over here on Ginger Island. I didn't even notice that. Holy heck. Well, if I click on it, nothing happens. So that kind of sucks. But I, I, I already gave one to her. I'm just going to assume that I could I could watch it right now. Right. So is this going to work? Would you like to spend your movie ticket to see a movie? No. What? the? She watched a movie without me. Oh, my gosh. Well, then again, it's been like a week or two. So I know I can blame her. Right. Golly. Let's go back to the bus stop. OK, well. If she's available, that's going to be amazing. I don't know. Where, where in the world's my... Did I just pass my horse, by the way? I might have. I might have already passed. Oh, wait, no. He's right, right there. Okay. Well, Penny, where are you at? It's 820 right now. Golly. We need to head over there as fast as possible. Where is there? there she is, right there. I guess I have to give her another ticket, but... Ah! A movie ticket? Yes, I'd love to go with you. I'll meet you at the theater, honey. Oh, gosh. was well, 830. You better hurry up. Ah! 
Oh my gosh! Come on, come on, come on! 840? Oh my gosh, we're not going to be able to make it. I'm, I'm heading over there as fast as possible, and I know I have a heckin' pepper popper in my inventory, but I don't want to waste it. Go, 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 go! Oh my gosh, it's 850! I might have to, I might have to use it. I might have to heckin' use it, you guys. Oh my gosh, use the pepper popper. Right now, eat the pepper popper. Go, 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 go! Charge, charge, towards the movie theater! 850? Oh my gosh! Yes, oh my gosh, it's 9 p.m. Oh my gosh, talking about last heckin' second. Would you like to spend your movie ticket to see a movie with Benny? Yes. Golly, finally. Oh, we're in here. Okay. I, was, I thought like, oh, they, oh, well, the governor's over here as well as that one random woman who always randomly shows up. What are, they, what are these people have to say? Yeah, it literally just calls her a random woman. <laughs> she doesn't even have a name. Get lost. I'm busy rubbing elbows with the governor. Oh, yeah, bragging over here? Well, what does the governor have to say to me specifically? It's lovely to see economic development in the valley. Well, you can blame me because I uh, ran Jojo Mart out of town, apparently. So... <laughs> Why are there birds in here, by the way? What in the world's going on here? Crane, I mean, Crane Man? At least he has a better descriptive name than just woman over there, right? <laughs> Can't talk. I'm in the zone. What if we get something good? Let me get, let me get some, uh... Wow, Penny's not even getting anything to drink, nothing to eat. Welcome to the concession stand. Would you like to order a snack? Yeah. Let's get fries, star cookie, cotton candy, black li Ew, who, do people actually eat that unironically? Salmon burger? I don't know, let's get star cookie? Wait, can I get... Oh. You wanted the star cookie. We'll deliver it to Penny Seat once to buy. Okay. Can I get something for myself? What? I can only get something for Penny. I can't get anything for me. I guess we got to share it and do some Lady in the Tramp eating spaghetti memes, huh? <laughs> Lupini, amateur. Wait, what? Who is this? Amateurs, the set design was completely mundane. This guy's name kind of sounds familiar. Was he in the game earlier? I just can't remember him. I don't know. Huh. I'm so distracted by literal butterflies and birds on the popcorn machine and stuff. Okay, well, let's go talk to Penny. What do you have to say? I'm looking forward to this. Jazz and Vincent have been talking about it nonstop. Well, what? I don't even know what movie we're seeing. Let's see. What, what movie is this? Is there actually a... Uh, oh, I guess there is a cutscene here. Cool. All right. Shh, shh. One of the only ones in the theater because the theater's technically closed right now. Shh. Why are we all the way over here? You can't see. You have to angle your neck and everything. It's going to get my neck sore. <laughs> so what is this movie? Is it going to... Am I actually going to see it? Am I going to get my channel shut down for pirating the movie? <laughs> the Brave Little Sapling. Aw. Oh, what is that guy? He kind of looks like a life elixir. <laughs> the Brave Little Sapling is leaving his home. He hesitates for a moment and turns around, knowing he won't be back for a long time. Oh, they're making, like, Junimo noises. Or, like, little, little sprite from the caves noises. The other saplings of his grove are gathered at the edge of town, excitedly waving their twigs goodbye. Okay, so he's supposed to be a sapling? I thought he was a life elixir. <laughs> Penny seems to be holding back some tears. Aww. Wow, it must be really hard leaving his family like that. Hmm, that's true. Oh, jeez! She just threw a star cookie in the air! And she's enjoying- Oh! Oh, I wonder what happened if I gave her, like- Like, what if I ordered a salmon burger? Would she be like, Ew, I don't like salmon burgers. So maybe it was a good idea we got that star cookie, although I was gonna get one for me and then one for her, but I guess she's the only one stacking over here. Golly, I'm on a diet, I guess. Huh. <sighs> I'm like, I did have pepper poppers earlier, so I shouldn't be complaining. <laughs> but anyways, Penny's enjoying the star cookie. Cool. Oh no, out of nowhere, it starts raining. The little sapling goes into a sprint as thunderclouds loom overhead. Oh, lightning strikes a, uh, another sapling or is it just like an inanimate sapling? I don't know. <laughs> Fearing for his life and demoralized by the relentless downpour, the brave little sapling begins to lose hope. But what's this? The sapling feels a tingling on the top of his head. Oh, he's growing! <laughs> Perhaps a little rain was what it needed to begin its journey into becoming a tree. You know what? That's true. Farewell, little buddy. Oh, wow. He's like a giant, like, redwood already. Jeez. Look at him. I'm ready to chop him down. I'm ready to bomb that little sapling and get some wood out of him. The movie has concluded for the night. We hope you enjoyed the show. And I hope my channel still exists after literally recording a movie in a theater and uploading it to YouTube. Well, anyways, Penny, what'd you think of the movie? What? I said what? Oh, gee, cut that out of the video. Oh, now I can talk to her. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for taking me to this.
<laughs> I can't wait to tell the kids how good it was. Oh, so yeah, that must be his poster right there. I thought that was like a life, like earlier I was thinking it was a life elixir, and then in the movie I thought he was a life elixir, but I guess he was a, a sapling. I, I couldn't really see it too well, except for the end where he literally became a tree, but... <laughs> Anyways, that, that's good that Penny liked the movie. I wonder if there's going to be multiple movies like this, like, throughout the year. Like, every every week, maybe there's a new movie. Like, if I go... Like, it's Wednesday right now. If I go on, like, Monday, is it going to be a new movie? I bet so, huh? Thanks for taking me to this. I can't, oh, yeah, I literally just read that out loud. Did she say something else? Okay, so literally... Okay, it's just the same thing. Can I can I order some concessions to go? This crane guy is still over here, jeez. So, how was the movie? I can't actually tell... Okay, whatever. Crane guy. Yeah, I can't tell. I'm still in the zone, like, two hours later. Yeah. All right, well, it's 9 p.m. Thankfully, like, no time. Eh, maybe, like, 30 minutes has passed. I don't know. Can I buy another? Uh, no, it's hot. It's it's empty. Oh, wait, hold on. Here, here, here we go. We have, uh, is this going to tell me? Coming soon. Journey of the Prairie King. The motion picture. Isn't that the video game that we played with, uh, whatever, Abigail? I think so. <laughs> that actually sounds like a pretty good movie, honestly. Like, it's about cowboys or whatever. Now playing. The Brave Little Sapling. I should have seen what that was before I came. An animated family comedy about a little sprout on a magical adventure to become a tree. Ooh. Wait, where's the magic in that? Like, I didn't see any magic. All I saw was a literal a sapling getting rained upon and then becoming... That's like straight up real life. I don't know where the magic is. I know, it's 10, 10 p.m. Is there anything I need to do? I guess I could check the farm computer just to kind of check real lickety split. Crops ready, eight. I think that, yeah, th th those are all the jazz uh, flowers. Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to do. Yeah, I guess we can still make uh, bee houses real quick. I don't know how many bee houses I'd need, but at least it's, it's going to take like three days or something like that, right? Until we actually get honey out of them. But at least at least we can get it started one day ahead here. Yeah, we can make 16 right now, which is pretty heckin' good. I don't know how many I can place down right now. I'm just trying to figure out like a, an image in my head. I think it's a five by five. So if I, if I leave one spot open, what would that look like? I think. Is it 15? I'll try. I'll, I'll get 15 real quick. One, two, three. So if I get 15 right now, and then one gate. Yes. So I can, you know, I can open it up and, and change out the flowers every season, right? Uh, I guess we'll try that real quick. Hopefully I was able to, like, imagine what it looked like in my head accurately there. But let's just go over to the flower, whatever this is over here. <laughs> get down these real quick. And then, yeah, I'm, go I'm going to place down uh, more lining over here. And, yeah, it... it I, I guess after a day or two or whatever, you don't get the hardwood back anymore, so that kind of sucks. Uh, but we're not going to need it anymore, because the uh, bee houses... And I guess, yeah, that's also a good thing, too. The bee houses aren't going to, like, deteriorate, like, hardwood or store... Well, I think hard... or Yeah, hardwood... I think that doesn't deteriorate, doesn't it? Like, that's, like, the whole point of it. It's, like, the most durable thing. Uh, but, yeah, just surround this with bee houses, so... There you go. Just to kind of prevent myself from ever accidentally touching the jazzes and whatnot. Hold on. Wait, one... There you go. Oh, wow, I actually, uh... Put that there. Wait, hold on. Well, that's point... Pfft. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yep. Do I have to... I might have to actually give up one. Or just leave it open and just avoid it, right? Yeah, you know what? If I'm only going to use it, like, once a, once a season, four times a year, just to switch out the plants, it, I guess it's fine if it's just a gate that I literally have to break to actually go through. So I guess it's not that big of a deal. So, uh, yeah. All right, nice. Uh, it's not like it actually walked through it, but it's going to be about three and a half, three and a quarter days or whatever, three and a third days until we actually get anything from those, unfortunately. But tomorrow morning, we're actually going to get something from those. So, so that's going to be great. We're going to get some jazz honey, which is awesome. Uh, then I still, I, I don't know what to do with that. Gourmet tomato salt. Can I just put that in the kitchen up here as decoration or something? I don't know, because that's what Kent used it for. Can I just put it on this? I can't. Yeah. Hold on. There you go. Yeah, put it right there. Golly. Uh, let me go put up the other stuff, too. <laughs> All right, that's fine. And then we still have pepper poppers for me to move around a little bit faster. I think someone said to make crab cakes. I think I'm able to do that. Uh, like, I have the recipe and stuff. I just need to figure out how many crabs we have. We have 21. Oh, wow. 21, 420. That's like double memes right there. <laughs> 21,420 from the cheese and the void mayonnaise, truffle oil and whatnot. Cool. All right, well, that's good money overnight. Right, like 350K or something, like 340K, something like that. That's pretty good money, but still a far cry from the 2 million we need from the return scepter, right? So that kind of sucks, but let's grab some of the fruit. Whoa, stop eating the cactus fruit. Uh, there you go, and then we water these. And then, uh, oh yeah, I think I said this before, but we're able to fill up the watering can from the sink in the kitchen, which is pretty cool. We got six more iridium right there, amazing! Oh my gosh, that's so good every day. We got four more. Yeah, someone said, if I get crab pots, I should put the bait uh, worm bin next to them, so I always have worms to put inside the crab pots. That's definitely a good idea. I'm curious how he actually... That's 25 hardwood, 50 fiber. That's not terrible. That's completely doable. 
Let's go see what Penny has to say. As we have a tomato salt or whatever on there. <laughs> hey, she finally gave me a, a breakfast after like a week or two without any breakfast, golly. Probably because we gave her a uh, movie ticket last night, huh? Oh man, it's raining. No, wait, it's raining tomorrow. It might be raining on the island right now, though. I forgot to check the TV. We have a negative 6% luck today. Man, well, uh, at least we got a hot, hot breakfast right there, which, by the way, is uh, actually pretty heckin' good. Although I think all of our breakfasts, 100 energy, 45 health, it's along those lines, right? So they're all pretty good. Just gotta actually use them. I think I always put them straight in the fridge. <laughs> I need to stop doing that. I'm such a savage for no reason. Uh, but anyways, let's go check up on all of our stuff. Let me check up on all the busy work stuff. You guys know the deal. I usually cut out the video anyways. And all right, you guys are back, and I got all the garlic that the, uh, the Junimos were- Oh man, I missed a couple spots while replanting them. Man, I did, uh, start keeping some of the seeds inside of here, though. Even though I know you guys said they don't replant them, it's just in there for convenience. Oh man, there's a new one spot up there, I'm glad. Oh man, they're dancing around, making new noises and stuff, like chirping and stuff. I've got- oh, I also forgot to check up on the honey over here, I was gonna do that on camera, and this tree kind of finished growing, which is pretty cool, because I kind of left it to go, so might as well cut it down now, right? So there you go. It's gonna fall in the water, and I'm gonna- man! I knew I was going to happen. I was going to lose all that, man. Well, at least now, now that we have all the honey right here, blue jazz honey. Now we're going to be free to, to move these around as we see fit. So it's going to be so, so I could fit more of them around the jazz and whatnot. So I suppose what we could do is kind of like I said at the end of the last episode, make it make it like the shed, which is to put them kind of like and then they yeah, they'll still be in a in range. So I guess we could do like this and then. Yeah, and then there's like one little 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 divot right there for us to like walk in and that way they're all still within range, which is pretty good. And there's still all this over here I could do with as well as get rid of these and get even more room, which is crazy. But uh, we can craft more bee houses for that, and I'm sure that's still in range. So that should be. Uh, let me double check. Maybe we go to Ginger Island later this episode, too, by the way. Uh, we do have a little bit of time. Oh, that's not even in range. Whoops. That is. Yes, that's just barely in range right there, though. Uh, and if I put something man. Or maybe it's because of the way that's lined up. I don't know. I'll put this here, though. Yeah, I'll put that one right there, though. Okay, cool. Uh, just making sure. But let's just go over here, and I guess we'll sell the garlic, because I never sold it, and I need that for that mission, right? I was just looking at it a minute ago. And then Blue Jazz Honey, how much is that going to be? 280 for each one, 2800 for all 10 of them right there we have. So good money right there. I guess I could keep the regular ones for crafting, and then we could sell the gold and the uh, Silver Star ones. So there you go. And we got a random caviar right there, too, for 700 Not bad, but... We're going to get like a thousand or something like that now from the lava eel, uh, row, or aged row, aged lava eel, row, whatever it's called. So that's going to be, uh, even better, but it's 130 right now. I'm not going to have that much time if we go over. And by the way, by the way, by the way, this thing, I was thinking like at the back of my head. There you go. Is that the thing that the, uh, old lady on whatever it's called? Man, this music in the background so distracted. Oh, wow, a leak right there. Okay, yeah, you know what? Grab that. If, if it's just out in the wild like that, yeah, definitely grab that. And then dandelion, I don't think we need that, but that's going to be one out of 12, I think we need for, uh, for what is his name? George. So that's good. We still need 11 more, and we have 20 of them, 20 crops planted down. So a one in four chance of each one being a leak, you know, theoretically. But let's just go back to Ginger Island real quick. And I do want to check. Oh, man, I forgot to bring that speed grow again. Golly, man. Uh, whatever. At least we're going to go over here and hopefully... Yeah, there are a thousand dollars down drain. Let's go ride this thing over to... Although, I don't know how much time it's actually going to save me, because I can just walk over there. But I'll still take this over to the farm, just because we unlocked it. Might as well use it, right? So, there you go. Cool. And then... Oh, yeah, so I had an idea. And then, yeah, someone said something. A time code where I was, like, up here. And it looked like there was a cave. Is that a... It is! Oh, my gosh! Like, I came up here and I was like, oh, there's nothing there. I, I must not have seen myself up there because I thought I, like, ran to a wall, but I guess not. What is this? What is all this? The heck? What? Hold on, is this like a Simon Says? Will that just do this? Oh, jeez, I didn't- I wasn't paying attention right there. Oh, what the- Hold on. Let me see. Okay, that was easy. Okay, good, good, good. Let's pay attention. Okay, that, that was easy too. It's not using the same ones over and over again like Simon says, though. Oh, jeez. Oh. Yeah, you have to be, like, right next to it. Oh, jeez. Oh, man, 
said I should have done the- Oh, I was paying attention. Ah, oh, okay. You know, it's a little bit late in the day. I, I want to go do some other stuff rather than playing Simon Heckin says with like a lion or whatever that is. So let's just go, let's just go over here. Oh gosh, we got the slimes too. Man, I'm taking damage. Taking damage. I'm just going to avoid them for right now. Let's go down to this. Oh, we got a coconut in this tree. Hold on. Yep, there you go. Uh, let's go talk to... Well, yeah, thankfully it's not raining because she's out and about, but is this what she wanted? No? I don't know what to do with that. I can... What is that called? Gourmet pet... I, I guess... You know what? Let's go give that to... Uh... Oh, it's a little... Oh, wait, no. Maybe not. Maybe if I leave and then come back, maybe I can do it. But I'm thinking about giving that to Gus because he's. it says gourmet tomato sauce and he's a chef. So maybe he would want this? Even though it says literally everyone hates it, though, right? Or maybe it's just like that because it's like a part of a mission and I don't want to spoil it. I don't know. But anyways... Uh, is there anything else I want to do here while we're on Ginger Island? Uh, I guess we'll check up on my crops real quick, see if there's anything on the beach. Any cor yeah, coral and, and clams and... Is this guy back? Or No, I guess he's gone forever. Man, that would have been really fun to play with him some more. <laughs> we got some more of these things over here too, so... Uh, there you go. Although we did get a walnut from one of these, even though I'm pretty sure we broke all of them one time before, so maybe we can get more of them? We'll check up on my crops real quick and we'll probably go back home. These two days... Oh, one of them's ready. Here we go, ready to be harvested. A couple of them were ready to be harvested right there, okay. So you get actual tar roots. We got four or three of them, which is decent. But if we put those in the seed maker, are we going to get more of them? And I could plant those down. I don't know. And I still need to like sell them, right? For the, uh, yeah, three out of a hundred. We have another like two and a half weeks ish to do this mission. So yeah, we, we kind of have to put them inside the, the seed maker if I wanted. To. And then, you know, hopefully we get a bunch of seeds one more day, five more days there. And then, yeah, I guess it's not that bad that I came over here today. Oh, yeah, you know what? 6.30. Man, I thought I can go up there. I have to go this way, right? Yeah, I know, I know you know, I know you want like 20 walnuts or something, but uh, I have like two or three, so I'm nowhere near that, but I think it's open till like 11 or something like that. So let's just go up here, do the Simon. I don't know how many times I have to do this till we like do whatever or like complete this riddle or whatever this is. So hold on, let, let me let me pay attention here. I feel like I'm commentating. I'm going to distract myself. Okay, okay. Oh, gosh. Okay, thankfully you didn't repeat on one there. Okay, cool. Oh. Oh, gosh. Oh, no! Man, it was going so fast, too. Well, how many times do I have to do this? Like, three or four times, or...? How many times did I get up to? Oh, I wasn't even paying attention right there. Whoops. You do that again. <laughs> this is why I say I need to stop talking, so uh, I'm going to do that. I'm going to take my own advice. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> Famous last second words right there. Wait, did I hit the. Oh my gosh, I must not have been close enough to it. <sighs> Okay, okay. Oh, gosh. Oh. Whoa, I got it. Three going wall. Oh my gosh, I was paying so much attention there at the end, you guys. Thankfully, I wasn't talking, but now I am. Now I can let it all out. But <laughs> so is that it? Did I, did I did I pass or did you like it? No, obviously I can't do it again. But hey, at least we got three more. Uh, so what are we up to now, like total wise? Because there's a that that curtain last. Oh yeah, you know what? Let's, let's take this. Was he close at eleven? So I could probably still give him. Let's go to the docks. Uh oh god. Oh man, I was about to say like, can I walk out of this thing? But I can't. It like traps you in here. Let's go to the docks. Let's go back home. Nothing on the beach here, I don't think. Yeah, it's 10 p.m. as well. Oh, wait, there was, there was like a crab over there, but I don't think I'm actually able to like harvest it, like like catch that crab, unfortunately. Yeah, so there's Gus. So can I give him this? Is it, is this an appropriate thing? Ah, <laughs> oh, that sharp smell. That zesty taste. That gritty texture. It could only be gourmet tomato salt. I'll trade you for it. I knew, I knew that was a good idea. Stardew Valley Rose. 
Awesome. So who do we, what do we, reminds me of the valley, it smells heavenly. Well, obviously I'm going to give that to my beautiful, loving, pregnant wife, right? But is there, who deals with flower, like specifically flowers? Evelyn? Because doesn't she take care of the, the town flower box or something like that? Because Caroline likes, oh wait, no, is it Emily that likes the rocks? Because, yeah, Caroline has flowers. She has like a tea thing in the back of her house, right? Like a, like a little greenhouse. Maybe she'd like it. I don't know. Uh, tomorrow, next episode, definitely don't don't spoil it for me, you guys. Uh, I know you guys kind of spoiled it with Ken, but I kind of I kind of got the hang of the like the thing they're doing right here. So next episode, probably going to go try and give it to Evelyn, and then also if that doesn't work, maybe Caroline. Uh, is there anything else I need to do right now? I don't know. Uh, and then yeah, yeah, put those in the seat. Let, let, let's see if we get a good amount of seeds from those. So let's put those in there. Tar roots. There we go. Twenty minutes. Yeah, we didn't get any golden the uh, coconuts or. <laughs> Artifact tro- although the artifact thing doesn't give you anything, right? Like, like, other than literal artifacts, I think. Wow, we got a bunch of, uh, truffles here. Golly, is there more in, hidden in the grass? I don't know. Yeah, see, they haven't taken much of a chunk out of this area over here, which is pretty good. Uh, so it is definitely self-sustaining, which is kind of what I wanted. So we did get one. Oh, we got four of them! We got four of them out of three. So we're, we're in the profit right now. If I just plant those back down, we'll be good to go. So we have three, and then here in just a second. It's going to be... Hopefully we get another, like, two or three. That'd be really good. Although, I, it isn't guaranteed to get at least one. Oh, wow, we did get... Okay, so we got six out of there. We doubled them right there. Nice. And we got one progress on the Gifts for George thing right there. Cool. Awesome. Don't know if I'm going to use that for... Because Dandelion... I need a Horserash, too, to make another ten seeds. So, I'll definitely have that. Oh, whoa, we have seven? I thought we had six. Man, we did more than double that. That's good. Huh. Oh, man, you know what? I, I need to bring the oil maker and put it out there next to the barn, just so it's really easy and convenient, and like, really, uh, because to use an oil maker right now, I have to go, like, to the top side of my house, and that's very inconvenient. Now I'm at, oh, man, now the dog's in the way, oh, wait, no, okay, no, no, he's not, okay, cool. So can I grab these, put them outside, uh, 1.20 p.m., 1.30, golly, I don't think I'm able to, I don't think we have enough time, unless I put them, like, right here, 1.30, yeah, let's put it, like, right here, if I can, where in the world are they? Oh, they're right there. Okay, oil makers. Put them right here. So run right, right there, right there. 140. Yeah, we have plenty of time. I don't know why I'm like freaking out. Watch, I'm going to fall asleep like we're right outside my front door. <laughs> oh my gosh, 150. Jeez, go to bed, go to bed, go to bed. Put some stuff up too. Oh, I forgot to sell the star shards. Whoops. Oopsie doopsie. Bleep. Bunch of stuff up right there. And we have taro tubers. Yeah, I'll keep that in my inventory for right now. But ah, let's go to bed. Oh, barely made in time. Holy heck. Day 11 of spring has ended, and another 30-ish K back in my pocket. Don't mind if I do. All right, nice. Yeah, we should be able to get the, uh, the oil, the uh, truffle oil a lot faster, a lot easier now. Uh, especially because I don't have to, like, go. Oh, whoa! Man, spreading weeds cause... <laughs> Wait, hold on. What was that spooky sound I just heard? Is that because it's raining outside? It's going to rain on the island tomorrow, too. Which, by the way, there's my loving wife. I don't know if she's saying anything, but I kind of want to check up on the... Oh, yeah, the coffee's done today. Awesome. So we're going to get a lot of coffee. And we get that, like, what? Once every other day, I think? And then these are going to be done tomorrow. Uh, but hold on. Once every... Yeah, two more days until we get another harvest. Awesome. So we should be pretty well set. And it's like right at the top. So it's really close to the shed. Uh, yeah, nothing, nothing done there just yet. Thankfully, we still have open slots over there. So we can actually start making coffee immediately. But we do have a uh, note in the mail. Who's this from? Dear Waffle, tomorrow we're holding the Egg Fest. Oh, I forgot about that. Egg Festival in Town Square. Didn't I win last year? It feels like yesterday I just, like, did the Egg Festival. Even though that was literally, like, what, 30, 40 episodes now? Golly, this series is going by so fast, but also so slowly. I don't know what's going on with that. But anyways, uh, arrive 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. if you want to attend and, of course, win <laughs> again. Isn't that how I got the, uh, the straw hat? Is that how I got the straw hat? Or was it something else? I forget. But anyways, and yeah, there's the oil. See, look at how easy this is. Just grab those, boom, boom. And, of course, on a rainy day, we're not able to get uh, oil from the, uh, the pigs. And by the way, by the way, I'm kind of thinking about moving this. Still keeping it here, but like putting it right there, just because it's in the way. <laughs> I know some of you guys are probably commenting on that as well, but I don't think there's any truffles down here I missed out on. Okay. But anyways, I'd say that was a pretty successful episode right there. Is Penny still here? Or is she going to town and getting all soaking wet? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Let's see how much. Uh, iridium. Seven more iridium. Amazing. Oh, my gosh. It's insane lucky. We have some like dance music going on in the background right now, but I might as well just do my outro and we can start looking forward to next episode. So until then. Thank you guys all very much for watching. As I'm Hold on, can I emote dance? Is there an emote for that? This? No? I don't know if there's an emote for dance. Oh, there we go. Hey, I like this music. <laughs> what is this? 
Nah, I don't, I don't really dance there. Question angry, no. What's this? Oh, I could edit it too, hold on. So uh, if I don't want to be angry, ooh, sick laugh surprise. Game? What does that mean? I don't know what that means. <laughs> uh, I know this is for like multiple, oh, here we go, note, here we go. Oh man, I should be dancing while I do that too. Man, I'm really distracted right now. I need to stop doing this. Uh, but anyways, is there a wave goodbye on this? I don't think so. That would have been really, oh wait, there is. Uh, get rid of the thumbs down and let's do this. Oh my gosh, this entire time I literally could have actually been waving at you guys. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Anyways, let me actually do the outro and then we could do that. So uh, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as the next episode of Stardew Valley comes out so you don't miss it. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time with some more Stardew Valley. Uh, here we go. Oh, bye there. Oh, it only does it for like a second, though. Oh, bye there.